Good morning, everybody. Today, I decided to come out and give myself a little bit of a challenge. I am coming out with one lens. It is the only lens that I brought. It is a prime 50 millimeter. What I wanted to do on this video is to show you guys an exercise that's not new, but something maybe you guys haven't tried before. And it's a great way to really improve your photography. Now, everybody knows that has been watching my show that uh, my favorite lens is the wide angle, the 14 to 24. Every once in a while, I'll pull out the 70 to 200 if it's a you know an obvious situation. But uh, one lens that I've never used on this camera because I have the 24 to 70 is the 50 millimeter prime 1.8. So today I am going to only use this lens, and it comes with a couple of advantages. Actually, is my backpack is super light which makes me very happy. I'm not carrying around, you know, 20 pounds of camera gear. I have this camera, the tripod, and that's it. Of course, the, the video, you know, the camera I'm recording on. But other than that, I have nothing. So it is only me and the 50 millimeters. So I'm excited to kind of challenge myself, see if I can find something. And, um, you know, no matter what I get, I'm gonna show you guys. And maybe I'll make this video over a couple of days if I can't find anything. And, uh, you know, I'm gonna keep going out and only using this lens and see if I can find something nice. So let's get going. So a couple of things I'm doing here. One is I am walking extremely slow, stopping, going out, finding just isolating one subject that I think looks really interesting. Then uh, pulling out the camera with the 50 millimeter on here, obviously, and maybe walking around, seeing if I can maybe um, you know look through the viewfinder with the you know the focal length that I have, and just seeing if I can frame something up that I like. And I'm you know not really paying too much attention to the sky. Uh, because I think with the 50 millimeter, it, it does a couple of really good things. It's a uh, it's a good portrait lens. Uh, it's 1.8, so it's got a really good depth of field, which maybe I can utilize. Maybe something that I can do a little bit different is using um, depth of field. You know, when shooting landscapes, usually, you know, landscapes you want to have you know sharpness from front to back and and focus stacking and things like that. But maybe. Maybe with this lens, maybe I can try something a little bit different, like using depth of field. So what I've done here is I found this uh, little cactus. I'm not even sure what kind of cactus this is called, but um, it's really interesting. It's just very uniform. Uh, all the, the thorns are all kind of just chaotic and everywhere, but the actual shape of the cactus uh, is, is very uniform and I find it super interesting. So what I've also done is put my camera, set the picture control to monochrome you know, and seeing what it would look like in black and white. Absolutely love the way it looks. So what I'm gonna do is change my picture control back. I could leave it in, in monochrome. It's not gonna hurt anything because I'm shooting in raw, so it won't hurt anything. But I do want to just see what it looks like in color as well. And then now I'm just trying to, trying to frame it up and maybe I have to move the tripod back a little bit. So that's one thing with shooting with a prime lens is you gotta do your, uh, use your manual zoom. So if I back it up just a little bit, um, and then uh, let me get this out of the way here. So I'm exposed properly. And now what I wanna do is find out where I wanna focus and if I wanna use my, my depth of field. So I'm at 1.8 right now. And I'm just zooming in here to make sure that I'm focused. There we go. And now I'm gonna do a couple of different things. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot it at 1.8. Oh. So I'm going to shoot it at 1.8, but I'm also going to try some different apertures. I'm going to try 1.8, 5.6, 8, 11, 16, just so I give myself, you know, a little bit of latitude as far as what I want to look at in post. So I can, I can take it back into post processing and I can decide then what I really like. But uh, so, yeah, I'm going to start off with that. So, so just looking at my histogram, making sure everything is exposed properly. And there's my first shot at 1.8. Then I'm going to now change it to f5.6. 
change my shutter speed, try it again. Now I'm at f8. Alright, and then now I'm going to do f11. So I'm also going to choose a second focus point because right now I'm focused right here at the front of this cactus. But now I want to maybe put one a little bit farther back just so I have, in case I do want to have it all sharp, I know that it's all going to be pin sharp. So that's what I'm doing now is I'm uh, choosing a second focus point farther back. I want it, you know, sharpness from side to side, from corner to corner, in the middle. And so F16, you start to get a little bit of diffraction where, you know, the soft, the edges start to get a little soft. So I think I'm going to leave it at F11 and that's going to be it. So I think I am happy with this. I'm going to move on to see if I can find something else. I don't read my long lens and I have deer <laughs> it happens every single time so and that's that's kind of the fear I think when you bring out all your lenses is you might miss something you don't have the focal length you don't have this and I think uh, sometimes that's okay you know I'm watching these deer and it's absolutely beautiful I'm not gonna get a shot of them because they're too far away but that's yeah, still amazing being out here and I you know just that's a good exercise like I said is just to have this one lens and make it work so I have found a cactus that's super interesting. The sun's about to come up over the horizon right now. And what I'm hoping is, because the, um, the way I'm facing, I'm facing directly north. When the sun comes up, it's gonna light the side of this cactus, but the background, the Superstition Mountains in the background are still gonna be dark uh, because of the way the sun's coming up. So it's gonna isolate maybe this subject. That's what I'm hoping for. So I'm gonna set up here um, with my 50 mil, obviously, and uh, see what happens. Right, guys so I think I have the composition I want uh, the Sun's coming up right now so I'm hoping that it's gonna light the side of this cactus here uh, it's lighting up some of the peaks on the superstition mountains in the background so but what I want to do on this now one of the things I didn't want to do is have to crop you know the kind of a uh, kind of cheating a little bit but um but looking at this scene I do want to crop it I want to crop it either a one by one or a four by five just because there's a lot of dead space here in the foreground that don't do anything for the, the subject really. Um, and if I got any closer, the top of the cactus there would actually be above the, the line of the mountain. So it'd be uh, poking into the sky just a little bit. And I don't want that. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going to, I think, crop it either one by one or four by five, just to kind of clean up the composition a little bit. Uh, I don't want to leave it at a two by three, which is the native, uh, native shot here, so. And to be honest with you though, the way the sun is hitting this, uh, the grass down here, it might actually work out. It might actually turn out pretty nice. So I might leave it in the native crop. So, oh, this is beautiful. Yeah, the sun's just touching the tops of this yellow grass here. So I actually might leave it. It looks really nice. At least on the back of the camera it does. All right guys, so Right now, what I'm looking at is I have this main interesting cactus in the, right in the foreground here, or right as the main subject. Two other swirls that are on the either side of it, kind of framing it up. I have the mountain in the background, the superstitions, uh, starting to get some light on some of the peaks there. Uh, everything is exactly the way that I want it. I have some, so, some sunlight hitting the tops of these yellow grasses. So this is actually kind of a nice little scene here. I like it you know, quite a bit actually. Like I said, it took a little bit of time to get it the way that I want it just because, you know, <laughs> I don't have a zoom. So I had to move the tripod up, move the tripod back. I had to raise the tripod just a little bit here because I was as close as I wanted to be. But because of that cactus was just sticking up above the skyline just a little bit, I had to raise it up. And now it's, it's absolutely perfect. And uh, yeah, it's actually a nice little scene here. So 
I think I got the shot that I want. I think, uh, I think it's time to move on to maybe something else. So I've come back to a similar subject as I kept walking. I saw uh, this kind of cacti that I shot before the very first composition. The difference is now is I got sunlight hitting it. So it's a, a lot more contrast. There's a lot more contrast between the light and the shadow. So I kind of want to go through that whole setup again is uh, finding a composition that I like and then using different apertures to see if I like. So I'm going to start at f1.8, go all the way up to f11. And um, like I said, just a completely different scene because the light's hitting it a lot different. Before it was kind of a flat light. Now it's very contrasty because the sun is up and it's now hitting from an angle. So a lot of the tops of these, uh, a lot of the tops of this cactus here is getting hit. So it makes me really want to shoot this subject again. But I'm going to have to kind of... <laughs> I gotta keep trying to maneuver this tripod. Okay, I think I got it where I want it now. I had to move it up and down and up and down to make sure that I get it right. So I'm shooting straight down onto these and, oh, what a beautiful subject. And uh, let's see if we move on. Let's be greedy here and keep going. Alright guys, well I enjoyed that so much, a lot more than I thought I would. This challenge was, uh, it was, it was a lot of fun and I want to issue you guys this same challenge. Uh, maybe pick a focal length and go out and do the same thing and if you don't get anything on the first try, uh, do it again and again and again. Just keep going out until you find something. Really, really work with this lens or any lens, whatever you choose. Master it go out and if something doesn't work try it again I think each time you go out it's gonna force you to do something a little bit different at least that's what it's done for me so I think it's a really really great exercise get out there try it and let me know if you guys do or let me know if you're planning on it uh, I guess this was just an amazing exercise and maybe something I'll do again in the future maybe a monthly thing uh, some kind of a landscape photography challenge picking a focal length or picking maybe black and white or some kind of challenge where it kind of restricts you and forces you to think outside the box so all right guys thanks so much for watching I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one bye